Jim Williams here. I'm at a truck stop in uh, Atlanta, Georgia. I wanted to take a couple of minutes. I want to show you what's involved with disconnecting the truck from the trailer and then connecting the truck back to the trailer. Generally referred to as uh, uncoupling and coupling the truck from the trailer. Here we go. The first step in disconnecting, uncoupling the tractor from the trailer is to release the fifth wheel lock, the fifth wheel jaws uh, on the uh, rear of the tractor. There's the release handle there. You grab that and pull it. Now in the beginning, in the beginning when I first started driving, that's what I would do every time. I would reach under the trailer and uh, grab that uh, handle and pull it to release that fifth wheel lock. However, over time, I discovered there's a tool that you can use. This tool that you can use where you can reach under the um, trailer and grab that handle on the fifth wheel and simply pull that so that will unlock the fifth wheel jaws. I'm not going to do that here because the company I work with now actually has a mechanism that releases the uh, fifth wheel jaw, the fifth wheel lock from the cab of the truck. So let's go do that. Now I normally um, unlock the fifth wheel from the cab of the truck first. But today I wanted to take the time to show you what that looked like before uh, I actually uh, did it from the cab of the truck. So here's the process here. On the cab of the truck, on the dash, there's a mechanism here. You uh, have to, see, can you see it there? There you go. You push this button over like this. And then you release. I'm going to open my door. Let's see if we can hear the uh, fifth wheel release here. Let's see if we can hear it. Pull this button out. Ah, did you hear that noise? That clanging noise was the fifth wheel unlocking. Now we are back under the fifth wheel, and if you'll notice, this little thingy right here, you see that sticking out? It was all the way in, but now it's sticking out. That means that the fifth wheel has been unlocked. Next, we're going to disconnect our air hoses and our electrical cord. These two air hoses, the red line and the blue line, supply the trailer with air. This electrical cord is what supplies the lighting and the electricity to the trailer. And now we have to lower the landing gear. We lower the landing gear with this handle, spinning it around until the landing gear is all the way down to the ground. Now we're ready to pull the tractor away from the trailer. We have the landing gear down. We have the air hoses disconnected and the electrical cord disconnected. And we have the fifth wheel released. Now we'll climb back up in the tractor and pull the tractor forward. There's a lot of activity out here. So pulling the tractor forward right now may not be the best thing. In fact, this fellow in the night refrigerated trailer is going to back in beside me. I may step out there and help him do that. <laughs> be right back. Okay, we've started the engine on the truck now. And uh, I have the truck in uh, a forward gear, a low forward gear. This yellow button, I've pushed that in. That's the parking brake for the truck. And this is the trailer brake. It stays out. Okay, so this trailer brake is locked. So we pull out slightly. I'm going to let you watch it in the rear view mirror as I pull forward. Just enough to clear the trailer. 
and as I pull forward, I stop just as the trailer pulls off the fifth wheel. see that we have cleared the trailer with the tractor. Now when you're connecting to the trailer, you want to make sure that you're in a straight line with the trailer and before you back under the trailer, you make sure that the trailer is high enough so that it will be picked up on the lip of that fifth wheel. Now we're going to back under the trailer and couple back to uh, the trailer to the tractor. Okay, we've got the engine running. The uh, gear is in reverse. Now we have to push in the yellow button again. And we will watch it in the rear view mirror here rather than the side mirror. Sliding under the trailer now. Go back slowly until that kingpin under the front of the trailer slides into the fifth wheel, which we just did. Now I put it in a forward gear, ease out slightly, the truck tugs against the trailer so that it doesn't move. That tells me that the jaws on the fifth wheel have locked in place. Right. Here we are at the front of the trailer. You'll see that uh, mechanism that was sticking out is now all the way in. That tells me that the jaws on the fifth wheel are locked. Now we simply reconnect the airlines and the electrical uh, cable. We have the airlines reconnected and the electrical cable. Now all we need to do is raise the landing gear, which will be a piece of cake. If you enjoyed today's video, coupling and uncoupling a trailer, Leave a comment down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, I'd be grateful if you'd subscribe to my channel. And uh, if you know other people that would enjoy it, then share the video with others. See you next time. Bye-bye. Great.